I'm in the heartland right now. This is where I live, right here. Chanting to you from the heartland of Zen, right? This is uh, this is a a h g right here. Echi Zen a h g is um, is where uh, all of uh, Zen Buddhism. Where the fuck is a h g? I live up here in Sakaicho. Um, Echi Zen Coast. This is very famous, and that's where I'm chanting from right now. Un undo people with a laugh and a smile, uh, as you can see. I live in the Sea of Japan. I always wonder what the is this the Sea of Korea? Is this the Sea of China? Right? <laughs> but you notice on our map, you know, it's kind of like Japan has hijacked this sea. You know, I always kind of laugh at this. This is what I'm gonna talk about right here. Okay. Um a little little background. I grew up right here in Palma de Mallorca. That's where I grew up. And um I grew up um uh, basically um um, swimming and fishing and diving. I was an aquatic ape, right? I grew up as an aquatic ape. I spent, I was there from the age of three to the age of eight. So I spent my time diving into water, scrambling out of water, opportunist fishing. I know what it was like, right? I had that experience of growing up in uh, Cascatala. Uh, here's Palma. I wonder if we can find it. Um, there was the port. Um, you know, I've done it here. The, a marina. Oh, there's the marina. Okay. I remember that marina. Um, I think that was the marina I went to. I'll find it. Cascatala. Is that the swimming pool I used to swim at? No. This is all developed. Um, looking for the hotel. It may have all gone. Keeps you going. That wasn't it. Punta Gorda or Punta Prima. But, um, maybe Cas Cas. There it is, Cascatala. So, um, this is it. This is where I lived, right here. This is my. This is, this is the aquatic ape, right? Oh my God! Wow, water levels, dude. This is insane. No way. Right. So I grew up here. This used to be a fucking beach here. This is my this was the house. Which house was it? I broke my arm. I broke my arm. This is the this is where I broke my arm on this on this area right here, okay? This is the neighbor's house. And this was our house. They've got a pool here now. This was a garage. This is all new. There used to be a, a lemon tree here. This is where I nearly died on this corner right here. But this, the water levels have gone all the way up to the house. This was all beach. I used to swim and fish and walk along here, right? My dad and I used to go out to this rock here, and there was a cave under here. I caught an octopus, a massive octopus. I used to fish off this little point over here. This was all, I, this was all, this was all fucking land. All this was land. Now you can barely get up here. Um, I did firecrackers. It's amazing how much the sea has gone up since I was there in 19, in the early 70s through late 70s 70 we left in uh um in uh 70 78 right 78 79 i went to prep school holy shit and there's a bodega here there it is there's the bodega right there's the bodega my dog used to come here isa used to go around go around this thing here the bodega is still there and there's a trash 
right in here there's a cave that beach is still there but look at that beach I used to walk all the way around here just like an Easter Island ape I used to come down here I used to put crabs <laughs> In this pool, I used to go and grab crabs because the tourists were in there, and I'd catch fish. And I would be able to catch fish. And there was like these mudfish that would live in the live in the ocean, right? And I'd see them, and I, you know, you'd see, and I'd just reach in, I'd grab the whole fish, right? I just because they, they would make their little house in there. I would get chased out of here, and I would walk with my dog and explore, just as Easter Island ape, just as we would, you know, there, um, and. Uh, Trying to think how far I walked, right? And it, and I just loved exploring the coastline because it's in my DNA, on there. But that's amazing. That is my there is my house right there, right here. All right, I need to put this here. Um, my undow dues. Let's see. Um, how do I? Let's see. Put my favorites. Save favorites and when i go back imagine when we do when we do our filming we're gonna film here we're gonna go back to my fucking house here we, it was three-story house doña maria don paco this was my father's top floor right i lived on the first floor here's our middle floor and i just can't believe the water level dude dude i'm looking at fucking sea level in my lifetime going this was all beach down here and it's i just i just can't believe that Right? Share. Cascatala. Um I don't know where I'm gonna fucking share it to. Facebook. <laughs> where I live, where I grew up. Uh, what is your story? Oh wow! I just, I uh, just, I'm just blown away by the sea level rises. This rock, this rock wasn't was a beach. I remember that rock. Um, this was all this. The, the, this was this was all fucking. The beach would go down to here. We had quite a bit of beach. One time, my dad had ammunition, right? And I would, um, I would take the ammunition. I'd bro, you know, like 22s. I'd, I'd open them up with, with a, with a, with a fucking um, pliers, and, um, and, and I would, you know, tape the bullets together like a machine gun. And Doña Maria and Don Paco used to burn their trash down here. Okay. Um, this is, uh, there's a, like a little. There's a little, the little side avenue here between these two houses, um, like a ditch. Looks like this house may have been re. I don't remember that this house may have been rendu. There was a hotel here. There's a bodega over here. The bodega. I used to. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you what, I'm getting excited here. I used to. Uh, I put the bullets. Uh, I used to put the bullets. I know I'm watching dogs. This is where I used to live, man. I'm getting going down memories lane. Uh, I put the bullets in the fire. I forgot about it. When she put the fire, I was out there, and the bullets started going off. And I, you know, it was like bang, 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 bang. Um, we used, to, I used to go around here and get on this wall, and we'd have flashlights and swipe squirt bottles, and we would shine the lights in the cars and sp and splash them. And then over here on this wall, this was a bodega right here. I don't know if it's still a bodega. It's not a, it was a, like a restaurant. This was a restaurant. A bodega is like a little, like a little restaurant. And they'd be watching the soccer game in here. And I would shine the torch in there. So anyway, yeah, man, was, I'm glad my house is still, everything else is, all of this was developed. When I was there was all, there was no development here. Wow. I would go up here in the mountains and stuff like that. But these houses are still these are the these are original houses. This is the original house. This uh, the uh, the uh, this uh, Pugambilla. I wonder if it's the same owners there. But yeah, that's it. that's uh, that's where I grew up. Anyway, what was I gonna do? So from here, all right, from here, I want to save this. Can I save? Notes. 
That's the, that's the, uh, actually, that's this place over here. That's fucking part of the, uh, it's weird how, uh, but they put that pool in there. But that garage that I broke my arm is still there. Or was it, ah, oh, it was this one. No, it was this one. How is that? No, it was this one. It was, yeah, it was definitely this one. And we were living here at the time in this house. They've completely redone this house. They put the new roof on, but this house is completely redone. Anyway, all right, zooming out from here, okay, where I grew up, okay, we're talking about Easter Island 8, and um, where did it all happen? Well, in the, um, in um, around 6 million years ago, 5.9 million years ago, the Gibraltar Straits threw up, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, water stopped flowing in. All water flows through here and comes out of here, right? So there's massive amounts of water coming through the Suez Canal. Um, and then back in the day, this was probably all were all opened up, right? This was all opened up. It got cl clogged off with the sand, or whatever, when it went down. And all of the all the all the stuff. So the sewage, this Red Sea, right? And the Gulf of the, this is the Gulf of um, Arden, Eden, right? All of here. And um, where Easter Island 8, right, is right in here. These islands right here. This, these would have been all island chain. This is the island chains, right? This, is the, this whole area right here is where um, um, I believe, right, because um, I was there. Remember, I, can, I went through the, I just know, this is where we grow up, went through these islands. You know, this is, I'm talking about 5 million, you know, going through the epigenetics of my DNA. This is what it was. And this looks the most promising, this one right here. This island right here, which is underwater, right? And um, when you imagine that the sea levels here went down um, a thousand meters, and I know from um, that this is 30 meters here, and the deepest part in the trenches out here is 4,000 meters. So it's very likely that a thousand meters down, all of this, this is 30 meters, right? all of this would have been revealed. And you have to imagine what happened was when, when the uh, Mediterranean drained, okay, um, all the water, the entire oceans around the world, six million, it went down 500, 500 meters. Everything went down. I don't know what it was, what happened, but, but uh, I know the Indian Ocean, which is this, this, the Sea of Arabia, the Indian Ocean's right here, um, that, um, that went down 500 meters, okay? So this whole area would have been, you know, for in this, and it lasted for six hundred thousand years. And what what ended it, or what started the begin the end, was all of the ice melted from northern Europe, filled up this empty swimming pool, right, called the Mediterranean Basin, and which had become a salt. Everything had been salt, salt, salt. Everything has been freaking salt. There's massive amounts of salt. This is why we're so addicted to salt, right? This is why we love salt. And it all went flying, you know, went in here and, um, um, uh, and for 600,000 years, think of it, how long did it take for it to drain? 100,000 years, 150,000, 200, whatever, right? Still there's 400, 300,000 years later, all the primates would have moved their way in here. And there'd been all this salt and living in here and, and you know, um, and uh, around the water, it had been a very salty environment. Thus, our tear ducts. Thus, our love for salt. Thus, our you know all the stuff that developed with salt. This is why it would have been extremely salty. We lived in the salty environment. Um, salt is also healthy. I mean, giving you know, if you think of it, uh, don't get infection. Other things. If you're giving birth, you're giving birth in a, in a salt pond. Think of the the comfort sitting in a salt. You know, sitting in the 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 Dead Sea, right? There would have been all these ponds and stuff in here, right? as this water was down and by all of our hominids migrated right all our hominins would have migrated out and they would have been living out here and you know all this would have been you know all these areas that would have been finding on this smorgasbord smorgasbord of food and stuff and um and the party ended five five point three million years ago with this um with the uh zan clean right clean it's fucking clean zan clean a uh, flood, and what happened at around three point um, five point three million years ago? This filled up again. It filled up. It probably got blocked off over over you know 
500, 600 years of, of nothing, right? So this all got sandstorm, got built up, and the water built up, water built up, water built up. Think of all these, these tons. And 200 meters high water, right, came out of the fucking Mediterranean. It bursted. This was just bursted the banks right here. It came flying down here. Imagine all the, like, and that's why, you know, like the, the, uh, the aquatic ape theories think, well, maybe here. Maybe in the Dachau's, maybe here is where. No, dude, I fucking did nothing here. Everything here got wiped out. This would be, this would have been pretty much if you're fucking out here living, you are gone. Right? Zoom, right? Water, 200 meters went slamming down here. Probably, you know, look at this bottleneck here. Um, I don't know. If these are mountains. Right? Looks like this would have been opened up. It probably would have gone down here, slamming down here whacking all this with a hit against grabbing all of this dirt and stuff think of it think of the the event right where with with the tsunami would have come one of the most amazing imagine creating that in the films for the when we do easter island ape you know i i solved it <laughs> the paradigm right imagine that the the we can the movie we can show and and, and the animals fleeing and just catastrophe flying down here and it and this would have broke this would have broken the the you know some of the the the, the energy right come in here bang slams up against these mountains here comes up here right boom we know i did the research um socotra the waters go over socotra but socotra is also again it's, it's going to take a lot of the, the the pressure you know paint out so all that we're gonna and that by then we would have seen water rising all of the all of the all of the folks kind of living around here and all there like living around would have been scrambling for the trees that have been you know again this is 600 years after the you know the 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 you know the dry so they have a long time for this land to develop and everything else and we would have gone scrambling and pretty much it would have it would have. In, in, I don't know how quickly the water came back. Doesn't matter. I mean, it says it took five million years. Well, that's five million years. That's like what basically goes right with the time frame when we return. But um, imagine this is if we if I could draw a line here, right? I don't know if I have paint or anything here. Imagine if we draw a line from here to here. That is the Goldilocks. So the as the water rows okay as you move this way people you know folks the folks that were living in this area here are slowly getting pushed back slowly getting pushed back into it and this is why all of the evidence right ethiopia and kenya right this is where all of the you know sudan this is where central this is where all of the archaeological evidence is and what i what i believe is that ultimately you know um the 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 the, the these folks were like, you know, their, 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 their party was ended, they were pretty strong, and they were forced inland, and they had no, you know, their competition probably would have been pretty severe, right, you know, in the area, because you're getting displaced, so everyone's moving inwards, right? And I, I kind of think of someone like Lucy and others as just kind of lost. They're like, you know, they're like, what is this world? And then, and this is hell, this is, you know, predator fucking central, and um you know and we say stayed here and as homo erectus so homo erectus was the first and homo erectus would have colonized all of this whole area here and then the first homo erectus um you know as we grew and displaced the strongest family again this is this is atlantis right here would have been pushed they would have gone through um a socotra and there's evidence of of um of you know homo erectus and stuff there um, you know, maybe, you know, maybe here they got pushed off and they were the first ones to arrive here whenever it was 300,000 years ago, 400, whatever the archaeological evidence is. And then um, ultimately they're the ones that come in. They become the, they, they, and again, just like I followed the coast in Spain, instinctually, they would have followed the coast and they would have followed the coast up here. The Homo erectus would have come up here, right? They would have come up here, follow the coast, follow the coast, found this here. Some would have gone left, some would have gone right, right? They would have gone up here. Again, we're talking about millions of years. We'd follow the coast up here. Some of us would follow the rivers, right? And Danube, right? They would just, just be like follow the coast, the weather. And this is where, you know, follow the coast and just follow the coast and end up, you know, and, 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 and end up in, in, uh, 
in Europe, and this is where the Neanderthals. So the the, the, the Neanderthals broke off from the Homo, you know, the Homo uh, erectus. I think it was first, and Homo habilis. I'm, I can't remember the top of my head, right? And they established themselves, and then the other ones went off here, and we have all these different cultures again, just following the ocean. And, and the evidence for that comes from a from a from a, the journey of man, which followed the DNA. They tracked the DNA, and they found the oldest DNA right here in Ethiopia. Okay, the oldest DNA in the world, I think, actually is on this island, right, on one of these islands out here, right? Um, maybe I don't know if it's Kim. It's all, I like how Yemen has freaking stolen like Yemen's over here but they've like conquered this islands right on here and like yeah it's like you know they're like fuck Somalia or whoever this is what is this some yeah Somalia isn't it they're like claiming it anyway um and uh yeah all this is this is like wild man's right here um and uh what was they saying but uh they that's how the movement you know happened and 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 the reason to see this it basically answers the question why there's so many hominids well there's so many hominids because they were forced they were the 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 uh the the pressure 